everyone, Cherie here. I'm having so much fun as guest designer for Citrus Twist Kits this month and today I'm going to be doing a Traveller's Notebook spread and I'm using some items from the Life Crafted Chasing Rainbows kit and some uh, items from the Scrapbooking Add-on kit as well. So I've got a few things already um, ready to go here. I'm using the blue paper that was in the Life Crafted kit. So as you can see I've just cut it to the Traveller's Notebook page size so I've got that extra strip there now. So I'm pretty sure that's the paper I'm going to go with and the other page I've just got as plain white. So already cut to size, ready to go. I've got my journaling already printed and I'm planning on turning this into a tag shape to use on the spread. I've got one photo, this is a 3x4 photo that I'm using today. I'm planning on using one of the phrases from the Chasing Rainbows stamp set here. It says Live Inspired, so I've got that ready. And I've got some of the die cuts and the uh, transparency pieces here to use as well. So I might pop you on to fast forward and I'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by cutting my journaling into a tag shape. So I've just used my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and now I'm just using my other hole punch to punch a hole at the top. And now I want to add a bit of stitching around the outside of that tag. So I've just grabbed my sewing machine for that. So you can see there I've just stitched a line all around the edge. And now I'm just adding some yellow twine to the top of that tag. So on this page I think I'm just going to use this die cut down the bottom and just have that journaling tag at the top there. So I'm adding some double sided tape to the back of that tag and to that die cut and I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. Okay, so the tag is going just there and I'm going to slightly overlap that die cut onto the bottom of the tag underneath. So I'm just sticking that one down, trying to center it as best I can. And now I'm just going to add a stay or a couple of staples to the top of that twine and I'll trim off the excess. So that first page is pretty much done. So I'm going to move on to the second page now. I've got double sided tape on the back of my photo and I'm just reaching for that acetate piece which I think I'll put down the right hand side of the photo. So I'm just going to stick that down using double sided tape on the back of the photo there. Okay, so that's going roughly there. Now I've got a couple of other things I want to add, like this hustle die cut. I've got the focus speech bubble to go at the top, and then I've grabbed a label as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that photo into place. Then I've got the speech bubble. I'm just putting double-sided tape onto that. And that's going to go at the top of the photo there, and I'll just add a little staple to that as well. All right, so next I've got the label and I want to use a stamp from the Chasing Rainbow stamp set. So I'm just grabbing my black ink. And I'll place, I'll give you a closer look at that. Live Inspired is the one I'm using. So I'm just placing that onto my very dirty acrylic block. I really should give that a clean. And I'm going to stamp just straight onto that label. So there you go, it's a closer look at that. I love how that's turned out. So I'm just going to add some double sided tape to the back of that one and to the back of that hustle die cut as well. And then I can go ahead and stick those into place. So that labels on there, hustles going underneath that. Okay, so I've decided to put another die cut on the side of the photo, just that cute little stack of books with a pot plant on top. So that just finishes it off nicely. So now I'm just going to grab my sewing machine and add a little bit more stitching and I stitched across the label and across that hustle word. I'll give you a closer look at that in a moment. But right now I'm just going to add the date down the side of the photo there using my date stamp. And one more thing, I'm just going to add a staple to that first die cut I put on the first page there. So here's a closer look at how this has turned out. I'm having so much fun playing with the Citrus Twist Kit this month and I look forward to bringing you another project very soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you for joining me today and have a lovely day.